what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today i wanted to review some of these liquid lipsticks i know i talked about this in my last video and i think well i know i tried this this jet set this is like my favorite one right here so if you guys want some affordable lipsticks i would suggest you guys hit up alta who else Hmm. I don't too much know about Sephora. Sephora is cool, but I don't know about the affordable side. So I know I go to Ulta, Walmart, Walgreens. You can catch them on a good day. They have some stuff. But I also wanted to try on this other one. This one is Foul Mouth. And it's another one called Cherry Skies. And this one is slightly different. All of these are from the NYX Liquid Suede family. I don't know if it's a difference. And this is the NYX Lingerie. So, I don't know. I tried it before, like, once or twice. I know I did, like, a Facebook Live to show some of my little followers on there on how things work. But I feel like this one, I still don't know how I feel about it. Maybe because I normally use a lip liner with everything. Or I normally don't do just one color. Like I always do like an ombre effect to it. Something to that nature. Like I normally just don't do one color. But for this video purposes, I'm just going to swatch them on my arm and try them on without the lip liner. Another one that I found in Vegas, when I was in Vegas, it's called... I want to say it's Rogue, but it's a Forever 21 brand. And when I say my mind was blown, my mind was blown. Because, you know, I will stand for Stella, like I said in another interview. <laughs> in another interview. <laughs> uh, uh, I will stand for Stella, okay? They're like $20, but... That lasts me for like almost a year and a half, two years, you know? And which I feel about this hair. It's so big. I love it. I'm going to add some more to it. It's crochet. It's called Jamaican Bounce Curl. Now, if you're looking for that silky texture, like, I don't know, the human hair, this, that, and the other, you're not going to find that hair. Like, it's... Mm, it kind of gave me the Kanika line type feel to it, texture. But if you feel like it's too bushy or you want it to be m more curled, then you can use wands and, you know, dip it in real hot water. But anyway, y'all not be getting sidetracked. Anyway, it's called Rogue and it's a Forever 21 brand. And that lipstick was bomb. Okay. I think I'm going to swatch that and show y'all that too. So stay tuned. Okay, so obviously the first one I am going to swatch, like I said, was this Jet Set. Now, I'm not Kylie, okay? I'm not Kylie. Who else be doing some bomb swatches? I don't know. The bomb swatch makeup artist. And, and that's not me. I'm going to work on it, okay? But we, I'm, I'm going to swatch it down, you know what I mean? I'm going to put it on my arm and y'all going to get the gist of it. So let's see. Don't be talking about me. They be making like little boxes. Girl, this strip just about to go right down my arm, okay? So this, y'all can't see it. <laughs> Maybe if I do it, it'd be better on that arm, huh? But I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna really struggle with this left hand. Hold on. Let me try to do it on this left, with my left hand. Oh, baby, what is you doing? Y'all, these swatches. Uh, they just look like swah. They don't even have a TCH. They just swah. You feel me? But y'all gonna y'all gonna get what I'm where I'm coming from. So anyway. Ooh, there you go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. 
I have realized with them, it does take a little while to dry. And also, as you see, I do need a lip scrub, so I ain't gonna blame it on everything on that. But normally it'll take me probably one or two layers. No, probably two or three layers to get like that full look that I'm going for. And this is only one layer. And this, like I said, doesn't have a lip liner on there, so it's not perfect. But if I don't want it to get that chalky look to it, then I'll normally go over it like two times, maybe three at the most. So let me take this one off and do the next one. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Definitely took off some of my foundation getting them off. Looking a little clownish, but it's okay. Y'all know with darker colors, it's harder to take off, but it's fall time. So we want that dark feel. Okay, so the next one I am doing is Foul Mouth. Let me get my little swah out with my left hand. Y'all, the concentration is real for this swap. So this looks like that. If I can focus. It look more black on film than it does on me. Okay, let me try this on. I like how it just rolls on. You know how some lipsticks are like tutu matte? That's like, feel like it's dry as soon as you take it out the bottle. Yeah, I don't like that. So at least this gloss is on pretty smooth. Okay, y'all, this is the best I can do without no lip liner. What y'all feel about this one? Woo, chill. I think it's okay. I think it's all right for a little go-to fall. I will probably ombre it out just because it's my style. But on to the next one. All right. Next one we're going to try is this Cherry Skies. Let me get my little swat out right quick for y'all. And for the professional lipstick people, the people that try these on with the norm, they got like five, ten belts on the day. Five ten belts, five or ten championships under their belt. Let me know how y'all just take this off effortlessly and don't mess up y'all foundation. Cause I told you this look crazy. Look at this. It's alright though. Anyway, so this the next one. It's the cherry skies. Try this on real quick. Look like a four-year-old and put on this darn little stick. It's okay. It's okay. So what y'all feel about this one? It's not bad. I would actually wear this with this um, eyeshadow. I don't think it's bad. Like I feel like it's a nice dark red. Giving me fall colors as well. It's cool. It's cool. All right. On to the next one. All right. The next one. This is the different one out of the collection. This is the NYX lingerie con. And this is called a beauty mark. Looks like this. Let me get my little swatches. See, this is like, like I was saying, like that match straight out the bottle. Like a little thick. I thought I was tripping. I was like, maybe I left it in my car or, you know, how you can leave it somewhere and the elements kind of change on it. But I don't know. That's how it looks on my arm. The drying time seems to dry 
Y'all look at these swatches. <laughs> the drying time seems to dry quicker than the others though. Let me put this on for y'all see what y'all think. This rolls on to me like more of a colored lip gloss. You know, it's not like a liquid lipstick act. But I must say this is like the least favorite of mine. Yeah, no. But I'm not the one to let my coins go to waste. So what I would do is get me a dark lip liner. And since we're doing affordable or budgets, you can get you a dark brown or brown or a black lip liner from your local Dollar Tree. Works still the same. Color mates, they will be real clutch. Line it out and then do like a nude in the middle or a pink or something. And we'll make this work. But I don't like the texture, like when it dries, it's like a sticky dry on your lips. I don't too much care for that. I don't like it. Let me take this off. All right, last one, guys. This is there for everyone 21 I was telling you. Now, this is a bomb dupe. It comes in clutch. Now, don't be getting your love underwear panties in a bunch, whatever you want to call it, because it might not top your faves, but... It'll come through when you need it. And I probably still have some of this brown left over on my lips. So hopefully it doesn't deter the color too much. But let me do my last one. And this one, it already rolls on matte. Like the drying time doesn't really take anything. See how they just swatched on like matte? And this is kind of still drying up there. But let me try this on for my last, last one. Sorry, y'all. I got a mirror over here on the side. All right, that's the last one. What y'all think? Y'all can't tell me that ain't good. That's good. Come on, for Forever 21 brand, they bomb. I stand for them. Now, I ain't tried out none of their other colors, but this is bombing. I can't even remember how much this is. It was at least... I know it was under $10, but the price point... For the rest of these lippies was a no more than $10 as well. I want to say all their products are from like $6 to $10. And $10 may be, you know, giving it too much. And it shouldn't matter what state you're in. Now, if you're in a different country, then I don't know about all that. But if you want to go to... You know, you in between checks, you need to be fired before a dance, club, birthday, something. We'll pick you up some nicks. Now, again, I don't know about this one, okay? But it's cool. I'm going to doctor it up. But this holy grail right here, 
Y'all got to get it. Y'all got to get it. Maybe if I stand enough, they'll send me some. Yeah. Goals. But anyway, y'all, if you're still here, thank you for watching this long. I want y'all to comment down below what's your go-to drugstore or affordable lipsticks. Also, I would love for you to gotta subscribe to my channel. And come on, y'all should be excited for me. Why? Because I finally turned my camera around. I'm finally looking at y'all. Y'all don't got to look at me through that little bitty box no more. Your girl going places. All right. All right. See y'all next time.